All right, we're back. Um, I don't think we're gonna cut this into like parts. Like I don't know how we're gonna cut this. Maybe by dungeon or just by time, like half an hour. But then the whole the whole LP might be just six parts, which I guess isn't that big. A big deal. Right, Luna? Boys? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely fine. <laughs> I have to, like, fish it out of you. Sorry. Yeah. You always gotta check those blocks. It sounds very whimsical in this dungeon. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, um, in the original game, you had very. You had one dungeon theme for all the dungeons. I did like it, but some would complain that. It was too repetitive because it was short and because you heard it in every single dungeon. Now you get different music in every dungeon, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Which isn't bad, but this is, it doesn't fit the dungeon to me. I don't think a dungeon would be this long, so I think it would be a little bit creepier. But that's just me. Eh. Maybe you just look at it as a castle instead of a dungeon. Ah, yes. Stab. Stab. Alright, let's choose the door. Dots! They look like peas. Now they're dead peas. Oh, you ate them. Let's see. Here, maybe? Yeah. You can save a lot of bombs in this dungeon just by stabbing. Right? Not stabbing. By blowing up the walls. And this, is, so one thing about this game is you don't have to like you don't have to use all the keys that you get in the dungeon that you get them. You yeah, can get so you keys. Can just accrue keys and then walk into a dungeon and then be like, hey, guess what? I already got keys. <laughs> just I'm just the janitor here with 17 keys. Yeah, <laughs> see. <laughs> Link the janitor. Yep. <laughs> So, as you saw, I just picked up... But if you nope. have too many, you'll just be rustling through all the keys, and you'll be like, Damn it, damn it, and there's an enemy behind you. <laughs> You're like, No, goddammit, wrong key! My favorite enemy, just because they're so random. And they move on circular paths, unlike everything else. Um, yeah, like I was saying, even though we got the boomerang in the last dungeon, you get the magical boomerang in this dungeon. This one's better. Just trust us. It goes across the entire screen, which is good and bad, because sometimes if you're trying to hit something close to you, you have to wait till it goes all the way to the other side and then comes back to you. Uh, I don't see that. Are you sure? Well, I can test this one. And I can test this one. Might as well pick them up then. Oh, yeah. I was wasting my bombs first. Dot! Can you only <laughs> have eight? Uh, right now you can only have eight bombs. Later on you can buy um, a quote unquote bomb bag to increase it to twelve, and then buy another one to increase it to uh, sixteen. Always, always have to stab him in the face. It's a given rule. He tells you useless. Dang it, I'm done. Uh, yeah. That doesn't help anything. Should I use a candle? No. Gotta use bombs. And what does it mean? Nobody knows. You gotta shove the bomb down their throat and let them explode from the inside out. Not violent at all. Dang it. I didn't want it. That's okay. Um, I missed the room. Might as well just see what's in it. Snakes! Indiana Jones is <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. Yeah. Indiana Jones would be pissed. <laughs> snake eyes. Uh, the snakes are generally good for money. Not always. The tectites and the snakes are good. So we have one of these guys here. This is a Dodongo, correct? Yep. The easiest way to kill them is when they're moving horizontally. Just put a bomb in front of them. And then they w I like how the, it explodes red, but in real life you just get guts all over you. So if you're running out of 
<laughs> I'm just gonna move past that kind of <laughs> um, If you put a bomb like near their belly sometimes, you can stun it and kill it with your sword in one hit. Sometimes. But it's just more fun to see them eat bombs and explode. It's not reliable. But later on in later dungeons, you're gonna have to fight three in the same room. Where sometimes you're running low on bombs and you're down to that one one on one and you miss him, but you stun him and then you kill him that way. Sex. Um, let's see, the fastest way to get to- That's a quick dungeon, by the way. Yeah. If you know what you're doing, most of these dun dungeons are quick. It's when you get up to, like, seven, eight. Mm -hmm, that they're longer. That's when they turn into the mazes. Mm -hmm. Especially the Forbidden Dungeon 9, the most hated dungeon in dungeon history. Honestly, I think the Dungeon 9 in this game is worse than the Water Dungeon from Ocarina of Time, as much as people whine about that one. Yeah. Rubies! Bar! Making it rain with all those rubies. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine just going to the club and throwing rupees at someone. <laughs> I'm making it like, rain. They'd be like, ah, God, stop throwing stones at me. I know they're shiny, but stop it. Yep. They'd hurt, wouldn't they? they at least they're not diamonds. They look sharp. Yeah. You flick SpongeBob, somebody in the background shouts, My leg! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Before I continue on. I'm gonna grab a potion. I guess I'll grab it from the one on the way. Yeah, you never know when you're gonna need a potion to save your life. <laughs> Very Part Can you bottle them? This isn't those games. Aww. See, I've been spoiled by crying up with 3D. Yeah. Games. This is... Old school. Yeah, that's okay. When you can only stab in four directions, can't move while you're stabbing. No locking on. None of that nonsense. You're being swarmed by enemies at all times. None of the Ocarina of Time trope of enemy circling around you for like ten minutes and then you can stab them once. Yeah. It's more intense. No. <laughs> yeah, it does. Tense as in, oh, can't wait till I can finally hit you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, we are in world, or dungeon three. Oh, maybe this is the more whimsical one. Or no, this is the, <laughs> this is the one that sounds like a rave. <laughs> the, yeah, sounds like a rave, you guys. Or like EDM or something like that. Clearly going to a party, okay? Yep. Well, I do like the uh, undertone of the music. Yeah. It's still my rave to me. <laughs> Can't get over that. No, my rupee! Oh, uh, I suck. Die. See, even like the little yellow guys are dancing. Oh. You're in here. Yeah, I didn't remember. I wasn't sure if it was three or four. No, I remember these guys. These are dark ones. That little part sounded like uh, Castlevania kick. Uh, yeah. I hate. Uh, yeah, these are dark nuts. The ones that you touch to awaken is Stalfos. I, I forget which way to go. Uh, uh, I don't want, I don't this doesn't sound as much like a rave now. Yeah. Uh, take advantage. Die. Die. You can't, yeah, but, you can't hit them straight on. You have to hit them from the sides. So the best... Say you don't have a, your laser sword, your best bet is... Am I Hiding behind something. When they're on the block above you, you can stab above. Like that. It's kind of a cheap shot, but at least it kills them. But doing it downward doesn't work. You have to hit them from the bottom up. <sighs> but when you're in a room like this, when it's just you and them... It's really hard. Yeah, screw it. 
I remember what they dropped. They dropped the bombs, and I wasted like eight kill them last time. So I'm just gonna ignore them. Unless I need to kill them to get back out. So what we just got there is the raft on the world map. You'll find that can only be used on the world map. Sometimes you'll find a spot with like a dock. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> Save me, pots. Now I just have to kill them for honor. <laughs> It's practice, okay? For when I have to fight the blue ones. Oh yeah, those are nasty. <sighs> They're uh, hard. Oh, look at that. Bombs. Just what I wanted for Christmas. At least I got two hearts back. <sighs> Excuse me, nothing in here. Ah! Uh, oh. The good thing about these things is, although they stop you from using your sword, you can still use your boomerang. <sighs> You just have to jam on your attack button until you can attack again. Yeah, they don't hurt you though, right? Yeah, I think they're just called... I I call them jinxes. They jinx your sword. <sighs> Missed everything. Die, die, die. Okay. I don't need bombs. Stop it. Don't just love it. When well, I was dying I, I for hate, bombs. I hate, yeah, I hate when they give, the oh. game gives you, like, freaking tons of bombs and you're like, I can't do anything with this. Why don't you give me a bomb bag or something? Nope, we're just gonna keep throwing more bombs at you. But then you don't need to use any bombs. And you're like, oh. Uh... There was no right. Okay, let's see. Up. Up is the way to go. I remember now. They're just dancing. They're harmless. They're just dancing on the tip of my sword. Did you get the white sword? Yeah, taste it. Taste it. <laughs> <laughs> so last time I was running through this dungeon, um, I didn't realize uh, that the whoever created this added some puzzles. So basically, you gotta stab the eye. Yeah, you gotta shoot it in the eye. Just like uh, the puzzles in the 3D games. Because I'm 99% sure he never showed up in the original game. Which, I mean, I'm not complaining about more puzzles. This isn't oh, uh, an issue for me. More stuff to figure out to keep it fresh. Yeah, I kind of wonder. These old men have too much time on their hands just to be hanging out in dungeons. Maybe they're getting paid. This is their job. Maybe. They're the uh, info desk of the dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> Um, going. Oh, the the map looks kind uh, of like a nothing. <laughs> oh, jeez. Was this the original game too? Like, was it shaped like this? Yeah, all the maps are exactly the same. Huh. That one was closer to World War Two. Anyway, okay, so. <laughs> well, the, the thing about this game is, uh, oh, the maps per. Actually, you can actually stick them all together like a puzzle. Mm. Yeah. You know, like the base destroyer, you must destroy pottery. <sighs> I feel bad for all the. Hey, you know how many potters are making tons of business replacing these pots? Hey, that's true. That's true. He keeps them employed, man. <sighs> So this guy, he speeds up every time you kill some of his arms. If you're lucky, you can kill him all in one shot. If you're unlucky, you leave him with one and it goes super duper fast. Luckily, I killed it without getting hit. That's like unheard of. Mm -hmm. You're just not good. So that's... It looks like uh, a dojo. That's dungeon 2 done. It looks like a dojo. <laughs> now it reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> well, too bad we're never LPing on a Pokemon. That's way too long. Unless we're doing, like, yellow. Yellow, I wouldn't mind. I played Pokemon as a kid. I actually had a Game Boy Color, you guys. Maybe we can do a versus in race. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
Shadow knows that I got stuck. Uh, I think it was Lavender Town. Um, I didn't have any money. <laughs> I remember this. I didn't have any money or something like that, or, um, and I was just stuck. Like, I didn't know what to do next in the game, and, I mean, I had other things going on as a kid, too. Like, you know, I had homework and yeah, other yeah. things that were Home taking homework. my attention away, so, like, I never finished the game. But I had Game Boy Color, I guess and I'll my shield. sister had one, too, um, and we would play on them all the time. Definitely kept us quiet on car rides, that's for sure. And right. I, couldn't, I couldn't play it too much because I get car sick, but... Just pause for a second. Um, so what I got there was the magical shield. It's bigger, it project, uh, stops projectiles like those magical laser beams. Okay, we can continue about your Pokemon history if you want. Oh, no, that's all I really had to say. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, my sister and I both had a Game Boy Color. We're, we're very much a Nintendo family. Um, I remember, like, we had the Nintendo 64. Um, I never remember my dad ever having an NES or an SNES or any of that stuff. So, the 64 is, the Nintendo 64 is the only thing I really remember, um, as a kid ever having. And then we just upgraded from there. So, like, my sister and I, like, when we were younger, um, we got, you know, Game Boy Colors. Um, what color was yours? Blue. What color was hers? I think purple. Well, I had the purple one, and my brother had a blue one. Oh my gosh. That's, That's kind of funny. Yeah, that is really funny. I mean, they only made a set amount of colors. There was but... a ton of colors. They called the Game Boy Color. Oh, they came in yeah. a whole bunch they, of colors. They did. They were indestructible too. Mine still works. I I, I misplaced I misplaced mine. It's probably lost somewhere in my parents' house. But um, and this is Dungeon Four. Uh, oh, maybe this is like the EDM one. I don't know. They're all blurring together, you guys. But the uh, this one sounds dungeony to me. Yeah, this one sounds more dungeon -y. Die, Max. It's more intense. I got six keys. Like I said, Link the janitor. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's because I, I'm using him wisely. There's, There are cases where you can run out of keys and then you have to go buy them if you don't use them properly. So these guys, they have three hit points. When you hit them with a two or one hit, they pop open into those bats. But if you're using the magical sword, which does three points of damage in, like, naturally, you can kill them in one hit without them popping out the bats. You know those big yellow blobs from the other dungeon, too? Mm -hmm. That were spinning out? You look at You can get the eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so some people do? don't realize this. You can use candles to light up the room. Like they there did was, in the olden days, they didn't a, have electricity. There was a block here. Okay. Yeah, I, I was watching him play through with, like the original Zelda. So I think it was Johnny, and they were playing through and they weren't lighting up the dungeon rooms. And I'm like, Aww. why are you doing this? I think it was Johnny. I don't know for sure. Not, not to call, not to call, but yeah. Well, it could be any number of Johnny, so... <laughs> oh, that's true. Especially since his real name isn't Johnny, as far as I'm aware. Really? Yep. If you look at the credits, the, the end plate... Well, that's his, like, nickname. I know, that's why his yeah. son legal, His legal name is not Johnny. Bats! <laughs> they, de they devolve into bats? Um... The bats are called keys. Yep. K I S. They're in. They're in others of the games too. I forget what the uh, other guy's called. I don't know. The jump man. Jump. So again, like these, you can kill them in one hit because they have two HP. But if you don't kill them in one hit, they'll pop out into the babies. All right, let's see what we got. Let's Nonsense. It doesn't have 
Okay, I don't need that too. You need the air. You need something to cross that. But what? I don't know. Die, bats. Can I, can I say what it is? Nope. Uh -huh. You can down there. Oh. It's the step ladder! What? Da -da -da -da. Stop. Don't run away from me. I'm just trying to help you die. <laughs> so these are the most hated things in the game ever. Yeah, I don't like this. If you're not... If you're just... If you only have the small shield, they pose no threat to you, really. But if they touch you, they eat your magical shield, and unlike... Um, Don't you just have to, have to keep buying new ones? Yep, unlike, uh, unlike Ocarina of Time where you can get it back, Yeah. they eat it right away. Uh, well, they give you like a few seconds, I think, but you can't get it back yet. I don't see why... And they look like couches. They look like ottomans. You don't see why. I don't see why a step ladder would be good in this situation. Just saying. Like, wouldn't the raft be more helpful? Hey, you sink. You can bridge gaps with this. Uh, oh, okay. A bridge between worlds, guys. Link. Link between worlds? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I get it. Do you? <laughs> Well, I didn't think they were gonna respawn one room away. Yep. Uh, what the hell? How do they get over here? Oh, they just spawned. Yep. Stay away from me, Jinx. See, every time, ah. like when he gets hit by one of those, he blinks. So I feel like he's taking damage. Well, that's what I thought at first too. But then you realize, well, oh that's... wait, my sword disappeared. What's going on? Well, like, that's what you think, like, like I said, like, seeing, like, the yeah. 3D games, every time you were blinking, you're like, oh, crap, like, I'm getting damaged. Wow. I missed. Nothing. Uh, upper right. Go right. There's the map here. You can actually see that. Let's see if there's something here. I say as if I played this game. Money! Yay, monies. Bomb make, all the walls. Make it, making it rain, right? I don't think it's top one. Oh, it does. Alright. Uh, boomerang. Ah! Uh, I missed. Oh, yes! Nice! This is the walk into the waterfall. Now, oh. oh wait, I should open the door first. Okay. Uh, uh. So this is the bad part about the step ladders. If you don't line up properly, you can easily get stuck in places when you're trying to fight and run. I should have just looked at the map. Bye. Fire. Ah! I wish I could just bomb that wall to the right and just get to the uh, boss. Uh oh, they can get me. Sounds coming from the boss as well. Alright. Oh, I never bought the potion. Uh, this is gonna be harder. You can do it. Ow. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. See? Did it. Yeah, Rupee. 
<laughs> Alright, right, we're gonna cut this part. Yeah. So that's dungeons one, two, three, four finished. When we come back, we're gonna do some collecting again. <laughs>